Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have dark hair now. I am back to my um, dark soul self. I'm only going to start toning it from now on just to keep it a little bit healthier and then just get more deep conditions, more trends. You know, trying to grow my hair long and thick. Your girl is trying to get locks. So, that's what we're doing. I know I haven't been on in a minute. It's just life has had its bumps. You know, it happens. Um, and, yeah. I was just like, I just needed some time, you know. Not really time, like, off. which Because that sounds stupid. But just like... I just need to focus on real life and like getting my other stuff, other shit done. Today I filmed this tutorial of this like pink, cute, purpley, smoky eye. Um, oh no, not smoky eye, halo eye. Mm -hmm. And I used um, the Morphe 39A palette to create this look. It's, oh my gosh, so bomb. This palette is so bomb. The pigmentation in it. The blendability, just everything about this palette is so freaking bomb. I love it. Also, you guys, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I will have all um, of my apps, my names, my whatevers, either here or here or here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be somewhere. Go ahead and add me on those and then subscribe to my channel. So that, you know, I feel like I have a purpose and I feel like I should keep making these videos for you guys and have like, you know, people to film for. Now, if you really want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and I just keep on watching. So to create this eye, I'm going to start with the Morphe Dare to Create palette. It's so gorgeous. Look at the inside super gorgeous so I just got this and I was so excited to play around with it yeah so I'm just I'm just dipping back into this shade and then just adding color and blending it in as a part of my transition shade and basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna um, it's gonna be like a nice color to make that purple pop out cuz I put a purple on here and like putting that on top of this color made it turn to like the pink that I wanted so yeah you guys will see you'll see you'll see I'm picking up the Morphe M441 brush and I'm dipping that into, I don't have the names anymore for this, but this color right here. Now we just gotta blend this out and then what I'm gonna do because I didn't put enough transition in there um, I'm just gonna add some more of that transition shade in there and then with this I'm gonna diffuse it out very very um, lightly almost like nothing almost like I'm not really touching anything you know like I'm being that light with it And then with my Morphe Y17 brush, I'm going to dip into this light cocoa shade. And I just basically like to fuse out the edges of that with this, but very lightly as well. And I'm just picking up more um, of that plum purple color with the amp, the same um, same brush I was picking it up with, and I'm just adding it very very lightly.
I'm going back into the Morphe palette and picking up this deeper purple shade. And I'm picking that up with the Morphe M433. And then I'm just going to put that, like I'm just tapping it on my outer V or outer corner, I guess. To give like that, um... Like the, you know, the depth and the halo effect to be heaviest on the outer corner. And then I'm going to put or add more of that into my inner corner. To conceal like the middle of my eye, I'm just gonna pick up some Tarte concealer and I'm just gonna dab that in the middle of my eye and basically once I have that concealer kind of like blended out a little bit or like just blended in I guess, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna dab that on like the outer edges of that concealer just on the side just to help like blend that in I guess and then I forgot to do this part but I need to go back in with the deepest the deeper one and this is a Morphe R41 I think I don't know it's like coming off but anyways I'm going with that and then lightly very very lightly I'm gonna like trace out that crease area with the color I use on the outer corners and I'm just trying to make it like consistent and blended I guess I'm gonna go in with this is a random just like flat shader brush um, I mix I mix these two shimmer shades it's this one and that one A Mario Badescu rose water spray. And you know, just fan it. Let that, let your skin eat it up.
Up my shade and light palette, and I'm contouring with. Oh, look at that! Nice. Um, I'm gonna contour with this, this shade, and this shade. Um, I usually do this one and this one first, but I'm feeling bold and dark, so that's what we're gonna do. Do you like that sound? And since I have like all this pink and colors on my eyes, I'm just going to go in with something more neutral. And I just grab a little bit and I focus it on like, you know, where you're supposed to put it on the apples of your cheeks. Why'd you walk in here hella fast like that? Don't do that. So now, I pick up more translucent powder with the Morphe M438 brush, and I go just right underneath and kind of like curve it. this Maybelline Master Chrome. Well, I didn't discover it, but I just now started using it and it's so freaking bomb. That glow is good. But let me show you on this side because I feel like on this side you guys will be able to see it better because that's the side the light is on. Yeah, you can see that shit. That looks amazing. highlight in right here and then I highlight uh, my cupid's bow. Do you see that? Yes. So I'm going to use this Urban Decay Liar Lip Liner. I've had this for like my whole entire fucking life. lip topper on top of that this is well yeah it's a lip plumping transforming top coat I don't know it's by Ulta and that's just like a gloss I guess you know okay guys this is the final look I hope you guys like it I absolutely love it um yeah I feel like this is super cute and yeah, so if you guys did like this video, if you guys liked this look, um, if you guys want to see more videos like this and me doing fun looks like this and stuff like that, then let me know. Go ahead and like the video, comment, tell me what you want to see next. I want to see like the interaction, you know, I like that. And um, yeah, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching oh, fuck. and I'll see you guys in my next video. And that is it. Thank <laughs> you.